Hi everyone, welcome to week six, day five of our Build Balance Momentum program. Today's posture of the day is one that you might not see very often, and that is tortoise pose. So a really great hamstring stretch and also a forward fold. So I'll show you a couple modifications for that today um, to make it a little easier for you. But we're gonna start out on our knees today. So I welcome you to just close your eyes and connect with your breath. Take a deep inhale. Feel the oxygen swelling through your lungs and then up into your chest. And then a nice big exhale out. And we're just gonna calm our mind at this time and center ourselves. How are we feeling at this moment? Do we have any aches and pains? Any knots in our shoulders? Feel free to roll them out as needed. And now let's interlace our fingers and push our palms away from us, exhaling as we stretch our arms forward and inhale them up and overhead. We're gonna do a nice shoulder opening stretch. So let's bend our elbows and bring them around to the left side, bending those elbows up and around the body and then over to the right, exhaling as we um, come to the front and inhaling as we open up our shoulders nice and wide. Deep exhale here. Inhale, exhale. Now let's switch directions, going over to the right side, bending our arms over and behind our head. Inhale, exhale, pushing them away. And as you bring them out in front of you, tuck your chin in towards your chest. We're just warming up the spine, warming up the shoulders. And now let's keep our fingers interlaced and come into a tabletop posture. We're gonna do some modified cat cows here. So we're gonna take a deep inhale, and then on our exhale, we're gonna round out the back, tuck our chin in towards our chest and push the mat away. On our inhale, we're gonna drop our chest and chin towards our mat and towards our fingers. And then exhale, round out the back and spine in cat pose. Inhale, modified cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Deep inhale, dropping your chin and chest towards the mat. Exhale. Now let's just take our knees a little wider this time and we're gonna start incorporating movement of the pelvis. So we're gonna inhale down. Exhale, as we exhale, let's round out the spine, tucking that tailbone. Inhale, getting a nice curvature in the lumbar spine. Exhale, rounding out, pushing that pelvis forward, really tucking that tailbone. Deep inhale, down, exhale, tuck, 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 push through the back of the back. Inhale, chin towards the mat, exhale. We're gonna roll out our wrists if we need to. And let's come into our downward facing dog. So push those sit bones back and really find a comfort zone in this downward facing dog few deep breaths. Feel free to pedal out the legs as you need to. And let's ground through that right foot as we inhale our left leg back and up. Exhale, tucking that knee in towards our elbow. Inhale, back up. Exhale, tuck towards the other elbow. Inhale, back up. Straightening out, exhale, bring it in, inhale, extending long behind, maybe bend now, open up through that left hip, bending that knee, bringing that foot towards your butt, and let's just breathe through this posture. Maybe we take some wide hip rolls now. Again, trying to breathe and hold your composure in this, in this posture. Maybe switch sides, really opening up through that hip. And now let's extend that leg long and bring it over to the left side of the body on the outside of your mat. And we're gonna come into a modified downward facing dog. So this is really opening up through that left hamstring. So breathe and exhale, spine long, 
as if we're in downward facing dog and maybe you reach that left hand back and grab your right ankle or your right shin and just feel that stretch through this nice gentle spinal twist and let's bend that left knee down dropping our hips towards our left side just gently breathing as we move and then release our left hand to the mat exhale that left leg down and back and let's bring it up in between our hands now we're gonna rise up into a crescent lunge arms towards the ceiling tailbone tucked breathe sinking into that left knee maybe bringing our arms now bending those arms clasping the elbows behind our head just opening up feeling the stretch in the shoulders can release your arms down we're gonna do a nice hip flexor stretch so bring your left arm in over to your left side you should feel it in your right hip flexor and then inhale your right arm up and over the body lengthen that tailbone down that's the key to getting this nice hip flexor stretch so we're gonna inhale neutral exhale reach that right arm over bending over to the left side Feeling a gentle rotation through that left side body as you inhale your right arm up and over. And now let's release and inhale our arms up overhead, bending those elbows and bringing our palms in prayer behind our neck. Let's hinge at the waist, dropping our abdomen towards our front thigh. And we're just gonna breathe through this nice stretch. Strong front leg here, deep inhale. And let's release our hands to the mat as we drop our left knee to the to the ground and we're gonna do some a light low lunge and half split variation so we're gonna exhale as we um, straighten out that front leg and bring our chin towards our chest and then inhale into low lunge as we pull our chest through our biceps exhale straighten out that back leg into a half split feeling that hamstring stretch deep inhale now exhale And let's release now, pulling our sit bones all the way to our back heel and coming into a forward fold. Deep inhale, lengthen that spine, and then exhale, release into the stretch. Allowing your back to round and your head to hang heavy. And with every exhale, sink a little bit deeper into this forward fold feeling your body release any pressure and tension it might be holding. Let's release out of this posture now and bring our foot of our right leg over to the edge of the mat. Straighten out that left leg to the side. We're going to inhale that right arm up and over, bringing it over to our right heel as we extend overhead, lengthening through that left side body with that left arm. At this time, you can feel free to grab a block if that'll be easier for you. If you can't quite reach your heel, you can put it over to the side and use that to help guide you and bolster you up a little bit. Breathe, opening up through that left side body. At this time, you can extend your arm over to the side just a bit more and inhale that left leg up, flexing those toes and bringing that left arm high towards the ceiling. This is a modified half moon pose. This one's on our knees instead of on our feet. So flex, strong back leg. And now let's um, release this out of this posture and stretch our arm over to the other side, coming into that half split, flexing those toes. Deep inhale, and let's come back up. Extend that left leg up and over, and we're gonna come into downward facing dog now. We're gonna continue this on the other side. So breathe, pedal out those legs. Deep inhale, find your center once again. Let's ground through that left leg as we inhale our right leg up, coming into those mountain climbers once again. Release that leg towards the ceiling. Exhale as you puff through the back, tucking that knee towards your chest, and then inhale it back up and long. Feel free to bend that knee now and just do those generous hip circles we did before. Opening up through that hip, 
Nice generous circles. You can switch direction now. Do a few on the other side. And we can release our leg out long and drop it over to the right side, halfway between the mat. Get comfortable in this odd downward facing dog position. And let's reach our right hand over to the outer side of our left shin. Stretch, getting a nice spinal twist. Remembering to breathe. Maybe we dip that right knee down, bending that knee, dipping over to the right side. And back up and releasing our hand to the mat extending that left leg out long and bringing it up in between our legs now for crescent lunge we're gonna rise up inhaling our arms up and overhead sinking into that right leg legs strong and bent bend those arms and let's clasp those elbows now behind our head take a deep inhale in stretch Feeling your shoulders open and then release. Let's do that hip flexor stretch again. So inhale that left arm up and over. Lengthen that tailbone down. So don't let that um, anterior tilt. We're going to lengthen it down. Inhale that left arm up and over as we kind of hinge, um, twisting from the right. So pulling our right arm in into our right um, thigh. And we're going to inhale up as we bend over, lengthening through that left side body. Now let's release and inhale our arms up and over, bending those elbows and bring those palms in prayer behind the neck as we hinge again into um, that humble crescent lunge. Release your hands to the mat, drop the back knee, and let's come into those half split low lunge variations once again. Breathing, moving with our stretch, exhale into the half split. Inhale into the low lunge, pulling our chest through our biceps. Gaze high. Exhale. Feeling that stretch through the hamstring. Inhale, slowly release up. Gaze high. Now slowly release and sit your tailbone onto the back heel and let's release into our forward fold once again inhale lengthen that spine and exhale release into the stretch feeling that nice hamstring stretch this is one of my favorite postures just to release into gently breathe Center your thoughts once again on your breath. And we're going to inhale back up. Bring that left foot so it's over to the edge of the mat. And we're going to do those half moon variations again. So inhale that left arm um, over to your heel and bring that right arm up and over, lengthening through that right side body as you extend your right leg out long. Now bring that left arm over to the side just a bit and inhale that right leg up, flexing those toes and bringing that right arm up towards the ceiling in our half moon variation. Whole body engaged and strong and slowly release, bending over to the right side and coming into that half split once again. Now let's just release and bring our legs to the front of the mat into a low yogic squat. So use your elbows to push your knees open and wide, palms in prayer at your heart center, and spine nice and long. We'll stay here only a moment before we release down. Coming, um, scooting ourselves back so we're more towards the middle of our mat. And we're going to start working towards that peak posture today. So we're going to bring our legs out nice and wide. And we're just going to walk our hands down, seeing if we can rest our forearms on the mat in this um, 
wide forward fold feel free to grab a block at this time if you if it's a little uncomfortable and you can't quite bring your forearms down you can also take a blanket or a towel and put it under your sit bones to kind of angle your pelvis um, to give you a little more stretch and length in this forward fold we're just gonna exhale ourselves down breathe see with every exhale if you can just sink a little bit deeper into this posture we really want to open up through those hips really get our hamstrings nice and loose and just see how far you can go without it getting painful we don't want to be in any pain at all so if you're in any type of pain in this posture simply rest in forward fold or child's pose and come back to this at a later date we're gonna breathe here maybe inhale lengthen through the spine and exhale fold forward again inhale exhale deep inhale lengthen through the spine and exhale forward fold now let's stretch our arms forward just getting a nice final length and through the body and if you're on a hardwood floor or a tile floor, grab your blocks and put them under your feet. And if you're not, um, if you're on carpet, take like a really shiny book that's a really light book and put them under your feet and see if that helps. We want to bend our knees and we're going to pull our arms underneath so our palms are on the floor underneath our legs. And we're going to stretch and lengthen through the hamstrings as we push our feet away from us so we can lower down. If you need to replay this a few times to see how I got into it, that's okay too. And you'll notice I'm a little tight, so I have a deep rounding in my back. And that's okay, as long as it's not painful. Um, but eventually we would want to be able to release ourselves and really lengthen through that spine. Often if your hamstrings are tight and you can't quite get all the way into a full forward fold, you'll see that rounding. We're going to just release ourselves now. And we're going to take those blocks away and we're going to try them without the blocks. And you should still be able to slide your feet a bit, which really helps in this posture. So we're going to bend those knees and pull our arms underneath. Let's see if we can straighten those legs now, flexing those feet and releasing our forehead to the mat. If you need to remain up a little higher with your knees bent, that's okay too until you get comfortable with this posture. Or you can just stay in a nice forward fold without putting your arms under your legs. And just remember to breathe in this posture. Deep inhales and exhales. And let's slowly release out of this posture, bending those knees and pulling our arms slowly out. Nice inhale, bring our arms up wide overhead and palms in prayer as we exhale. And let's bend those knees and we're just going to give them a nice squeeze so hug your knees in towards your chest drop your chin towards your knees and just rock back and forth a bit reconnecting with yourself and let's see if we can bring our feet hovering in half boat pose now lengthen your arms and then maybe you even come into full boat so open up those knees stretch those feet overhead and just hold this posture and slowly lower yourself down to the mat, coming onto your back. And let's gently pull our knees in towards our chest once again, maybe rocking back and forth, giving our spine a nice massage. And maybe using our arms to gently guide our knees in these big circles. So kind of pull them over to the left, circling them around as your knees come away from the body. And then maybe switch directions and bring them over to the right now. Nice big circles with your knees. And then use your left hand to guide them over to the left side. As you bring your right arm out over to the other side, gaze following your right fingertips. And allow your knees to just gently rest and lengthen towards your mat. Settling down the body. Reconnecting with your breath. You can bring them back up now and use your right hand to guide them over to the right side. 
straightening out that left arm over to the left side, gaze following those fingertips. And feel your spine relax, feel your legs relax. Let all of your muscles lose any tension in them. And then you can return the center and enter into Shavasana. Get yourself nice and comfortable. Maybe wiggle out your arms and your legs if needed. Maybe setting one hand on your abdomen to reconnect with your breath. Feel it swell in every inhale. And release all of that air on every exhale. Remind yourself that you're exactly where you're meant to be at this moment. Allow peace and quiet to enter your mind. <sighs>